Last week, we removed the topsoil from this garden, all part of getting the site ready for its new lawn. One thing all plants need, especially lawns, is water. And when you're putting in a new lawn, it's really important to work out the best way to irrigate. Well, someone who knows how to keep lawns lush and green is Paul Daniel from the Turf Farm. Now, Paul, take us through the different ways of watering a lawn. Right, yeah, the different ways of watering a lawn is to use a garden hose, and you can stand out there, and that takes a while. And you work out which nobody you like more, because that side of the yard will be greener. Or we can use subsurface, and we put that under the ground. Um, we can use pop-up sprinklers, which are my favourite, because you can see when they're working and when they're not working, and they seem to work very well. And, of course, you've got sprinklers as well that we can use. Uh, take us through the irrigation. I mean, we've got this area excavated. And the first thing you've got to do is to plan it properly and then to go and find out how much water you've got at your nearest tap that you're going to get the water from. So that's taking a pressure test? Yeah, pressure, or more so volume, into a bucket and see how many litres a minute you've got there. So what does that dictate? It dictates the type of sprinkler and the amount of sprinklers that you can run on the same line. But once you've got the, it planned properly, you trench it out, and then you um, go to get together and put all the piece, bits and pieces in. You lay your pipe, you attach your sprinklers, set the right height, which is very important. And another now, very important now, thing is to clip them. Now, what height, when you're setting your sprinklers, should it be? It's about, about level with the footpath. So they've got to be low enough so that the mowers don't get them, and high enough that they're not protruding above the lawn. And the location of the sprinklers are important? Yeah, very important. They should throw from base to base. The water should squirt from the base of one sprinkler to the base of the next one to get full coverage. Give it a quick test. And we're ready to spread out the underlay. We're using this for an underlay. It goes underneath our lawn and it helps with the root penetration and with the moisture too so that it doesn't get too wet on the, on the bottom of the turf. So what we've got is a sandy loam? Yeah, it's a sandy loam mix from Crafus Garden Centre. Who, Helped us out here. Excellent. So the idea about using a sandy loam is that we hear the word compaction all the time, don't we? Um, it doesn't compress like clay does, does it? No, that's right, which is what we want for our turf. So allowing the roots to come through yep, and to go through there. So how thick are we going to have to put this out? Here we'll probably put it in at about 100 or 150 mil, depending on um, how much clay you've excavated out. And you still have to leave a little bit of space for that lawn to be rolled out on top? Yeah, that's right. We don't want the lawn above the concrete. So how important is it to get level? It's very important to have it very level. It's the same with any building. If you don't start off with it level, you'll never get it right. Right, OK. Now, for people that want more information about the Turf Farm, yep. just head to your website? Yeah, just head to theturffarm.com.au and all the information you'll need will be there. Fantastic. We've still got a bit of spreading to do. Next week, we'll show you the finer points of levelling and get the tooth rolling out.